negotiations were unsuccessful. So their next step is that they will be deploying a CS gas into the home and will be infiltrating the home to see if they can find the shooter and get him out. Now the fair goes on for more than a week, so there is plenty of time for people to come out, enjoy some rides, get some funnel cake, and enjoy an amazing view from the top of the Ferris wheel. The police report says Ivan Tosh stood right here the night of the accident. The truck came, hit him, and dragged him. How far? Well, about right here, 12 feet from where he was standing. Tears were shed and hugs were shared as Amy Wright was greeted by many of her employees. Now this building right behind me is where the fire is happening right now. Flames can still be seen sparking out from the roof. As you can see behind me here, this is a car that's left over. You can actually see the tracks that are leading all the way from the highway over to the car. It is certainly freezing out here. I really regret not bringing my gloves with me. Tropical Storm Irma is definitely trying to pack a little bit of a punch here in Southeast North Carolina. This is LT Hines. Please come visit our church. We'd love to have you. He's a member of the Wrightsville Beach Baptist Church and a big part of their water ministry program, which started more than a decade ago. A Sunday school class started it, and they did it for two weeks, and uh, we just picked it up and started running with it. Every Sunday during the hot months, he and other congregation members will stay outside from 9 a.m. until noon, handing out water to anyone who passes by. Even dogs can catch a break and grab a drink. You form a whole lot of relationships, and people look for you to be here. And the only time we're not here is when the weather's too bad. So uh, they know if it's a good day and they're, they're jogging or walking or just having a good time down here on the loop, we'll be here to take care of them. Hines says they give out 150 to 200 of these water bottles every Sunday. Sometimes they reach up to 300 on holidays. Well, why do they do it? <sighs> to deliver a message to the community. Us offering the water is just a way to say thank you for you being here, and it gives us a chance to invite people to come to our church. People from the community took notice and are doing their part to pay it forward. It's a good start, and it helps you look in return to give. You know, it's like pass it on. And it's great. I mean, I, I really appreciate it. I look forward to it when they are out and they do this. And by all means, all the time I come by, uh, I do give something because they don't have to do this. And it's just like you say, a carry on. And they continue to pay it forward one bottle at a time. You need one. Yeah, there you go. In Wrightsville Beach, Basil John, WWAY News. <laughs> this is Evan Woodwick. Diagnosed with systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis back in August 2015. All he wanted was to finally see the ocean and beach and get surfing lessons. The group Reagan's Wish made it a reality. With Reagan's Wish just lifting us up like this, it, our family, I don't know if you can say we needed this, but we so needed this. Evan and his family traveled more than 1,500 miles to Carolina Beach and got more than they could believe. Evan was made mayor for the day, was in charge of a council meeting, got the key to the city, and got surfing lessons from the world's champ, Tony Silvani. They're not going to hurt, okay? For me to have an opportunity to take him out on the water and share a memory that he will always remember, that means a lot to me. Evan says this is a... Like once in a lifetime opportunities. But he wants to keep it at once for now. Eh, it was scary. Salty. <laughs> is this something you do again? Ah, uh, I don't think so. <laughs> no, sadly. But his mom was having the time of her life. I was screaming and going, woo! I'm so proud of him for hanging on. He's tired. These kids have a war going on inside their body. They're so, so fatigued often or lightheaded and dizzy. I am so proud of him. Evan encourages other kids in his position to go out and try something just like this. Try something new, yeah. The ocean's good for, I think the ocean's good for your skin, so why not? But he says he'll never forget it. In Carolina Beach, Basil John, WWAY News. It's been 10 months since Alexandria Williams lost her son, Mason Richardson. Not a day goes by that she wishes she could take him to Hugh McRae Park one more time. I can sit here and remember us playing and laughing and all the good times, but it's also very emotional because it's so peaceful here. Meanwhile, Jonathan Hayes sits in a jail cell awaiting his day in court. In a jailhouse interview, Hayes, a habitual impaired driver who's accused of being high on drugs when he slammed his truck into the car, killing two-year-old Mason. Now, telling WWAY News, he's sorry. 
All I can do is just, is just pray that the family will one day have forgiveness in their heart for me. An apology, Williams says, is too little, too late. No, you did not intend to take Mason. You did not say, I'm going to kill Mason Richardson today. No. But you still set out in that vehicle to harm people in a community because you were under the influence. You didn't think about anybody else but yourself. We showed Hayes a photo of Mason. That's Mason. When you see that picture, what goes through your mind? I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for, for robbing you of your life, for of your mother. I'm sorry for all the pain I put your family through. Hayes insists he is not a murderer. Do I look at myself as a murderer? Absolutely not. I, did, I never intended for this. It, uh, it, but I do, I do accept responsibility f for it getting to that point. This isn't his first time dealing with the law, however. He has multiple DWIs and larceny charges. You've gotten all these charges in this matter of time. If they would have actually did something like keep you in jail or put you in a facility to help you get treatment, maybe we wouldn't be here. Maybe my son would be here. Maybe he would have actually had the chance to turn three. Williams wishes she could change what happened too, but there is no way back and doubts whether Hayes is truly sorry. Do you really care about what you have done or do you care about the punishment you're going to receive? I'd like to look this man in his face one day and say, I can forgive you because I need peace so that I can one day be with my child. And she has this message. It's obvious this is not a mistake. This isn't the first, this isn't the second. <laughs> this is one of the multiple. And I feel like he deserves the maximum punishment. In Wilmington, Basil John, WWAY News.